Hey guys, just wanted to make a quick short video before I get picked up for my next flight and give you another update what I've been up to the last week because the last week um, I've been traveling around the south of Chile and it's gone by so incredibly fast but it was so nice as well um, so as I told you I flew to Castro which is on Chiloe Chiloe is the second biggest island in South America and you also have to take a ferry to reach that island um, from Chile. However, I wanted to fly to Castro, but that turned out in a complete disaster because the weather was way too bad for the plane to land there. Um, so the plane actually landed at an airport in Puerto Montt, which is pretty close to where I am now and where I'm gonna fly from today. But it is a bit more north um, in Chile. And we landed there. I didn't realize that at all because they spoke, of course, they spoke in Spanish, um, informed us in Spanish in this Chilean very fast Spanish with a harsh dialect. Um, so at first didn't understand what was going on, but they kept us in the plane once we landed there for like two hours or something. And until I realized that we were not in Castro but in Puerto Montt and they had to decide what to do. If they would want to fly back uh, if they would want to fly to the actual destination or if they would take us by bus or something. So eventually, after two hours or so, they decided to take us by bus and organize two buses for us. But until everybody was on the bus and everybody had gotten some food and whatever, it, was, it took like one or one and a half hours on top of that. And then it was already dark and they took us to the bus, by bus, to to the island <laughs> and to our actual destination, which was a bus ride of two hours again. So I arrived in Castro eventually, but six or seven hours late and I was just uh, completely tired. <laughs> I am in a really crazy situation right now. I've never had this before. I actually wanted to fly to Castro, which is in the south of Chile, but the weather there apparently was that bad that we couldn't fly there, we couldn't land there, so we went to an airport a bit further away, or north. And now we're just sitting here like since an hour waiting on what to do. The weather gets better or <laughs> I don't know what other plans the company has. But I've never had that before. I'm just sitting here in the airport. It's an hour doing like nothing. So just waiting. This is the real adventure. Now almost three hours later, they decided that they're gonna put us into buses. I first have to figure out how to get onto this bus. But I'm here and yeah, they're going to drive us to Castro now where I actually wanted to go but I think it's going to take like one and a half hours and I'm so tired <laughs> and hungry but yeah, let's see if I'll make it today and I finally made it <laughs> six or seven hours later than I wanted to but this is going to be my room for the next two nights now I'm happy yeah, but the island of Chinoa was really, really nice. I stayed two nights in Castro, um, which is the capital um, of the island and the second largest city. It had some really nice architecture. Um, these typical houses are called palafitos. Um, those are the ones like right at the ocean. Um, and they're very typical, especially for that city. Um, I took one day just to explore the city, did a small boat tour in the harbor, which was very nice. Um, I even, <laughs> on that boat tour, I met two girls as well who spent a semester abroad in Germany and could speak German, so that was quite fun um, as well. First day in Castro, finally made it, <laughs> slept in, I had a very, very nice breakfast at my house, and now I'm checking out Castro, but... It's very peaceful here and very very cold, like 5 or 6 degrees. Good thing I packed a few jackets. Um, 
Yeah, but have a look. It's really, really nice. After Castro, I, I took a bus to Cacao, which is on the west coast of the island at the Pacific Ocean. Um, that was also a tiny bit of an adventure because you just go to the bus terminal, um, you don't have a ticket, and you just get into the bus you think is right, <laughs> um, and pay them when you get there. Um, so that was a bus ride of one and a half hours again. But Cacao was very nice. It's, I wouldn't really call it a town, it's just a few houses um, but I had a really nice room in a lodge there and yeah, spent one day walking around the national park there it's very hard to get around without having a car um, so I just walked around the place nearby to my, to my room to my hotel or lodge or whatever you want to call it but yeah, that was very nice. It was very lush, very green, but also very, very rainy. <laughs> In general, all the days on the island were pretty rainy, um, except, the, except the last one. Pretty rainy and pretty cold. <laughs> you really feel that winter is coming here. Um, completely opposite to what's happening in Germany, right? <laughs> green and very wet it rained all morning <laughs> but stopped at like 11 o'clock and now I have a few hours to check out the park here and then I'll take a bus to the most northern city of Chiloé 
and stay there for one night. But first, yeah, I'm checking out this beautiful nature with a lot of plants that we just don't have in Europe. So very interesting. <laughs> just waiting at the street for the bus that should take me back to the capital. Then my last night on Chiloe I spent in Ancut. That's the biggest city of the island, has like 30,000 inhabitants and it's in the far north of the city. Uh, oh, and it's in the far north of the island. Mm, I don't know. I don't I didn't really like that city too much. There were a lot of dogs running around similar to Valparaiso um, and it was all kind of yeah worn down I would say but I also had a nice room there right at the cost right at the Costanera um, so close to the to the ocean um, and the promenade at the ocean. Yeah, and I just walked around there for to Puerto Vaz, which is where I am now, and I had an incredible day here yesterday. Well, first of all, when I came here, I um, could watch the sunset here at the lake. Puerto Vaz is located at the second biggest lake in Chile, um, and close to a few volcanoes. So I could watch the sunset uh, with two volcanoes in the background and the lake in front, which was very, very, very nice. And yesterday I took a tour and they took us to a few very nice places, um, natural places with super nice landscapes. Um, we also went up the volcano, not, not to the top unfortunately, but um, quite far enough. And at the volcano there's a ski resort so we couldn't go any further. Um, but also to yeah, some nice small waterfalls, they're called saltos here, um, <laughs> which is quite funny. And yeah, I just really, really loved it. Spent the day in the nature and on this tour, which was just awesome. And today I'm gonna take the plane. I'm gonna pick it up in like 20 minutes. Um, and I'm gonna take the plane to the north of Chile, to the Atacama Desert. Um, hopefully it's gonna be a bit warmer, <laughs> but I guess so. And yeah, I'm gonna give you a next update after I visited that desert and I'm heading off to Peru, so thanks for watching.